All right, in this particular lesson, what we're going to be looking at is adding and subtracting rational expressions that already have a common denominator. Um, a key idea as far as adding and subtracting fractions or rational expressions is that in order to subtract or add rational expressions, you must have a common denominator. So the denominator has to be the same in order to add or subtract uh, fractions or rational expressions. Um, as far as the steps go when we simplify with a common denominator, uh, the first step is to state the non-permissible values or values of the variable that make the denominator equal zero. Uh, next, what we do is add or subtract the numerators over the common denominator. And finally, what we're going to do is simplify completely. And in a lot of cases, this may require us to do some factoring. All right. Uh, we've got four examples to look at. One is actually uh, based on <clears throat> something that we have learned in previous math courses. Uh, One-eighth plus three-eighths already has a common denominator, so that is essentially one plus three over eight, which we know is four-eighths. Uh, if you'd like to make a factor tree with this, most of us know this reduces to a half, but if we wanted to look at the factoring elements of this, four is two times two, eight is two times two times two, so all these pairs of twos uh, cancel out, leaving us with uh, a simplified expression of a half. Uh, in this next example, something we need to be careful of uh, is that this subtracting sign means that you're taking the opposite of both terms in your second rational expression. Okay, so I'll show you what that means. It means that this, uh, as far as Actually, first we should state the NPVs. Uh, our NPVs in this particular case regarding our denominator is that y cannot equal 0. Uh, as far as our simplest form would go, this would be 3x minus 2 minus x uh, all over a common denominator of y. So in this particular case, you have to take the opposite of both terms in your second numerator. Uh, so that's 3x minus 2 plus x, and that's critical there. That plus x part is often missed uh, over y. And when we collect like terms, we have uh, 4x minus 2 over y. And we could uh, factor this if we would like to. You'll see that there's no common factors. Your numerator does have a greatest common factor of 2. They'd be left with 2x minus 1. Uh, all over y, but since there's no common factors in the numerator or denominator, it doesn't matter in this case if you leave your solution in either of these forms. Uh, in our third example, as far as our non-permissible value goes, we have a common denominator in all cases of 2x minus 1. Uh, so our non-permissible value would be that x cannot be 1 half. If you struggle with non-permissible values, just visit a previous lesson that we have done non-permissible values in. In this particular case, it would be x minus 5x plus 2, as far as the numerators go. Uh, all over an already common denominator of 2x minus 1. Uh, as we collect like terms, what we'll have is negative 4x plus 2, uh, all over a common denominator again of 2x minus 1. Uh, you could factor out 2 if you would like to. There's kind of two options you could go with this as far as simplifying goes. Uh, you could factor out 2 and be left with negative 2x plus 1. Uh, but what you'll notice is that the negative 2x plus 1 and the 2x minus 1 are exact opposites. So you may have wanted to factor out uh, negative 1 from your numerator. So uh, I would suggest in your numerator, instead, uh, factoring out negative 2 and you'll be left with 2x minus 1. Uh, so not the preferred method. If we, if we factor out negative 2, we'll have a common factor eas more easily seen in our numerator and our denominator. So these 2x minus 1s can be cancelled out, uh, leaving us with the simplest form of just simply negative 2. Uh, in our final example, as far as our non-permissible values go, our non-permissible values in this case, since we have a common denominator of x minus 4, would be that x cannot equal 4. And our simplest form would be x squared minus, and we need to take the opposite of both terms in the numerator of our second rational expression uh, over x minus 4. So that would be x squared minus 24 plus 2x all over x minus 4. And if we'd like to uh, just put this in the numerator into standard form of a quadratic, it'll be easier to factor. So our factors in this particular case in our numerator would be x plus 6 and x minus 4. You can skip a lot of those in-between steps uh, over x minus 4. And these common x minus 4 factors can be divided out, leaving us with a simplest form of x plus 6.